a wolf bracket at one point. Like, he sometimes will just, like, commit to something, and he'll see it through. That's something that I feel like we've lost in a lot of modern Smash culture. So many people are just fixated on just getting the next win, even at locals, mm -hmm. when in reality, you know, locals are for knowledge. If mm -hmm. you're planning on traveling and you really want to be the best, then sometimes you just got to commit to the bit and just, you know, hold your L's, get the experience, and go about your day. That's how it used to be back in the day, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a lot of newer, like, PR contenders, especially, like, since quarantine. It, there's been a lot of players who just kind of spawned, like, at that level. People are trying to get those high PR placements. People are worrying about every local that they go to. Uh, some players like Pinkfresh, obviously he takes it seriously, but he's, you know, he knows what level of player he's at, right? Bingo. Yeah, he doesn't need the PR placement to validate it, so he can feel a little bit more comfortable just trying new things. Yeah. And that's the thing, you're a better player than your results. Your results don't, aren't the only thing that define you. Absolutely. There's an F tilt. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait, he didn't react? He jumped. Just not. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Now I have to recover low. Krikuba's reversed the situation. He can try and ledge trap here, and he does get the side B. Sephiroth's so light, he's going to be dying to that. Uh, that's the mix. You charge it the one way, then just shoot it the other way. Everyone gets mixed by that once. Yep. Uh, I get mixed by it every time, which yeah. is why they are in loser semifinals, and I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a solid one. Good air dodge. He had to recover low there. Tapping out on the flare charge. Something that Pink Fresh does need, though, is... Um, F tilt is active for a very long time. It's really good at beating you for get up. Yeah. You need to do that and just kind of say it's space sweet spot. For sure. All right. So that fireball is going to take the stock. Two stocks apiece. Pick fresh, not down by too much percent wise. Uh oh. Especially not now that he has those orbs on. Uh oh. Oh, but look how Wait. much damage you took. Yeah, I was about to say. If he had gotten the sweet spot and. Um, That's a regret. You could have just dared. Yeah, true. If he had full drifted, that could have been two back airs into a true combo dash. Sure could have. And now, after that missed forward smash, things are kind of falling apart for Kububa. Almost goes for another forward smash, and he gets punished for it again. A uh, big body. Yeah, you can't uh, like roll through with some of those flares. Yeah, you gotta use your. Uh oh. Oh. The tech. Okay. He might be too low. Oh, okay. Not quite. Not quite. I like the idea of sharking with the up air. Yeah. Counter, uh, great option. Yeah, Scintilla gets really big after the counter, so it actually fits out some projectiles. And there we go. More big body giveth, big body taketh away. Four tilt gonna find the mark. Yeah, I feel like this game we've mostly been seeing taketh away. I mean, Krikuba has been trying to roll through stuff and still getting hit anyway. Yeah, it's the life of a big character, man. When you're winning, it's great. When you're losing, yeah. yeah. Oh, going for the down smash. He is hunting to try and end this game. This poor space power just wants to get in. Oh, oh yeah, checkmate. Good catch. Checkmate. Yeah, it covers the whole platform. Mm -hmm. I think Sephiroth's skinny enough we might have been able to roll right, but other than that, you were done. Ooh, ah, uh, trying to get a pivot grab. He's looking for a roll in instead. Pink Fresh gave him a roll out. It's kind of a, just a counterintuitive play there. You would think that you wouldn't want to pick the option that would send you to the corner, but sometimes you just got to send the roll out anyway. Yeah, Sephiroth is a solid enough character at fighting from the back foot where him being at the ledge isn't the worst. He's pretty comfortable yeah, there. Yeah, he can live there if he needs to. He can take a little bit of time to reset around the ledge. Yeah. Because you have to be scared of the counter, you have to be scared of the uh, Octo Slash. Oh, up tilt up air. It's actually really bad. A sweet spot up air could totally kill if you're like maybe double jump Absolutely. Height. And there's no wing either. I think Rupu is going to look for a kill option to make it not even be a pro. Okay, never mind. Here it is. He's still in a position to make the wing not matter, though. Looking oh! for that and finds that up smash sharking just underneath. He was kind of looking for that for a long time, but that looked like the one time that he chose not to short hop. Rupu was already there. Yeah, great catch on the jump. I mean, Krupuba has been, yeah, like you said, it seemed like he was hunting for that option, but he kept it until the moment where he knew it was going to hit. He didn't just throw it out willy-nilly like he was with those F-smashes earlier. Yeah. Probably going to be rocking the same characters. He's thinking about it. Yeah, okay, back to Seth. Because he did w he did beat Krupuba with Min Min, but I think he decided that was close enough that he's going to keep trying this. Yeah, he won't get any experience. All right. So getting started again, Nair and Nair. <laughs> Move of the day. 
It's neutral it's air. Really, Sephiroth's best option at low percent. Yep. Especially if they're already on you. It's very consistent. Uh, okay, Kripuba is selling out on that forward smash option again, and he gets Holy spiked! Yeah. One for kind of a yucky look inside me, and that got him punished very hard. Yeah, a lot of times Ridley's are used to their privilege of just no one being able to match their up B. Yep. But uh, Masamune is like 8 feet long, so. Mm -hmm. Dash attack, big damage. Kripuba trying to bring this back, that neutral air, not quite. I would have loved <laughs> to see it. He should have. <laughs> yeah, that low, like at zero normally it might not have, but if that low, I think. It would have worked. Me too. But not trying to risk anything. No need to lose your stock for no reason, especially when you were on the verge of wing, which he now has. Yeah. Oh, big Great damage. Great catch. And also he got stuck in the little um, blow-up animation where you hit really out of the plasma web charge. It takes a little bit of extra damage. That was an optimal situation there for me. Yep. Spot dunning the forward smash. They have really not found their mark for Kripuba yet. Back there, though, that is going to find its mark. Stocks are even. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of throwing and praying, and those four matches are not the move. Yeah, I mean, it feels like he's trying to read options that just Ooh. aren't there. Finds a back air. But yeah, it looks like Gripuba is, like, he hasn't correctly conditioned uh, Pink Fresh to do the things that he's trying to read. Yeah, and this is a bad situation. Oh, you're taking so much damage, and this is such a tough spot. Great air dodge, though, to get out of it. Yeah, really good defense to not get blown up uh, completely by the flare. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like that conceptually, punishing the counter with the skewer, but the distance was just not there. Yeah, I mean, at this point in time, he is so far behind where... See ya. Run forward. Good night. Okay. Bop. No charge <laughs> needed. A little salute from Kree Pooba. <laughs> I respect that. Yep. And he's out. Yeah. Pink also, because really so good, he could have just ran for it after the shield break, body blocked, and... Right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. But hey, all roads were definitely leading to a death right there. Free Pooba knew it, Pink knew it. And we got ourselves a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so not second-guessing his character, Pink Fresh sticking with the Sephiroth, and it has worked out. Yeah. We're going to be moving into game three. Uh, in these best of five sets, whoever wins game three obviously gets that counter pick advantage, so this is always a big game. Yeah, it's so, so important. Probably the most important game to set. Yeah. Kripuva finds this grab here at the corner. Down throw forward air. That was actually a really good recovery right there. Both aiming for uh, Kripuva and putting the space to drift in. Ooh. Just hitboxes just slightly missing each other. Charge out the wrong way, so we do have an opportunity to get back. Flair, not quite at the right timing, but now this is huge, but I just remember it's still Sephiroth. You, you ain't left trapping him. Yeah, Kripuba has been learning to use the invincibility frames of his uh, neutral getup to get around the fireball instead of trying to like pick other options. Yeah. Because he was trying to roll before and he was still getting caught. That side be not killing, but the next one might. The up air will. Such a strong move, and Sephiroth's such a light character. I think Free Puma kind of found his zone, though. He's holding shield a lot and just waiting for Se uh, Sephiroth to swing, and either getting the parry getting the punish, or just because the frame data is not that great, he's being able to get a punish regardless. Shield was the answer, it seems. Yeah, Kripua has quite a lead on this game. Uh, looking like the reverse of the last one. The jabs? No <laughs> wow. I didn't even know that killed. For Sephiroth, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, using the Octo Slash Kripuba, falling asleep a little bit at ledge. You always have to be ready for that, you're but done. that side B, you're gone. Yep. You're kidnapped. And now we've got a three stock to one lead in favor of our Ridley player. These sets are swinging more thin. I don't even know, man. The momentum is so powerful between the two, and I feel like that's mostly really matched up. I don't think we've seen a single 3-0 in all of top eight. Yeah. But like even the context of this set, it was like it was dominant at one point, and then yeah. we just flipped the entire thing on its head. Kripuba though starting to get a little bit more bullied at the ledge, and we have an early win here. This can be a huge, huge comeback potential for Pink Fresh, especially yeah. if he gets another big read on one of those shields or something like that. Because Kripuba has been shielding a lot. We did point yes. out. And yeah, no set in top eight has been a 3-0 yet. Sheesh. <laughs> so. We've been playing a lot of games of Smash. And yeah, even though Kripuba started this game with a big lead, 
Uh, Pinkfresh has even up the stocks, and when the stocks are even, everything's even. Especially when he got wings so low. Yeah. He needs to make a power play with it pretty soon, though. Oh! You're alive. Whoa! Okay. I mean, speaking of power plays, that F Smash roll read was huge, but it was cross court, so it did not quite finish it. Yeah, he had all that real safety DI and Pink Fresh. Just lose the wing, lost the ring right there, I think. Unfortunate. You really needed that. But maybe he didn't, apparently. Oh, never mind. You needed it. Yeah, big attempt on the Octo Slash, and he tried to down air, but he got beat out just a little bit by that Ridley up air, and Krikupa takes game three. I feel like Ridley sets are such beast in fandom. Yeah. Because when you're winning, you're winning by a lot, because you can slow down the game, you can whiff punish, you have forward tilt, you have Nair to do that. When you're losing, it's a lot harder to make a play. It's a lot harder to make something happen. Absolutely. Don't with the same character, expecting nothing less. Yep. Pinkfresh keeping the faith in the Seth. I respect that. Me too. Right back in GS2, and these orbs are another big problem for Kukuba. It looks like he's just, maybe it's just because he's such a big body. Oh, Whoa, yeah, great good. play to catch the side B. And he was trying to kill the stock. Are we? Okay, okay. okay. Pinkfresh hey, barely it. able to make it back. Yeah, Kukuba not choosing the correct angle. But yeah, hey, we take those. Bit of a scramble situation. Once again, the Shadow Flare is doing so much damage to Kukuba. Nice. Reading the attempt at aggression. The flare is there to make him recover high. But Kipuma finding his way around that and looks like he saw some gas in the tank. Ooh, Ooh. what a snap. Oh, into the nair. Ooh. That killed? Okay. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That was exactly what you needed. <laughs> Excellent catch by Kipuma to get himself back into this game. It seemed like Pink Fresh was locked and loaded to take it to a game five, but. Your character Whoa. is so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Yeah, it feels like the invincibility frames of either a neutral getup or a roll are really the only consistent ways for Ridley to get around that. Yeah. And even that on the Giga Flare, like, if it's in its vicinity, you still might get tagged. You might. Comps exploding. And Tilt, going to seal it out. And now, Pink Fresh one stock away from bringing this to a game five. But Kripubo looking to answer. Ah, he was trying to find that Nair. Don't let it be uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. Okay, no, no real way for Ridley to challenge that. Yeah. But Pink comes with a quick 3 4 for some good damage, but now we have the wing as well. Free Poopa needs to finish this now, yeah. and you're in a perfect position to take away that stock. There too. were sparks on that forward tilt, but instead, Pink Fresh is going to find his way back in. And he's starting to really run away with it now. Finds an F tilt. Yeah, there it is, like I was saying, using the invincibility frames to get up and then quickly pick an option after that. Ah, but a little bit overzealous on the side B. No sweet spot. Should be able to Octo Slash almost clipped him right Almost. There. Ah, just a little bit early. You're dead, I think. Yeah. All yeah. right, Kripuba's got one chance to make this a 3-1. He's got to play basically perfect. And I've seen him do this before. This is how yeah, it starts. this is a start. Yep. F we're at F Smash kill percent at the ledge, so <laughs> you got to be scared. True. No sweet spot on the up there, so you'll be just fine. The next sweet spot hit from Pink could do it. Good spot top right there from Creep Uba, but there we go, Sweet Spot up air. Good catch. Still alive. Here okay, here. okay. Yeah, the air dodge onto the ground, that's gonna finish it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, game five. I will say though, these games have been moving quick. These yeah. guys have been scrapping. Yet another game five in this top eight. And this one I have the flow of this set has been switching back and forth so quickly that I have no idea how this is gonna go. I mean, those were two very dominant games back to back, just in the opposite direction. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine, but you know what? We'll find out together, because game five, characters staying the same, players staying the same, and it all comes down to this. Stage staying the same as well. We have not left PS2 for this set. Expected nothing less. All right. Finds a side B. And yeah, he's got to worry about that. You see him in shield. Uh, Curious, he was shielding so early that I wonder if Creepoopa knows the timing on that. True. Yeah, a little bit of a matchup check right there. Because I definitely don't know the timing on that. I get hit by it all the time. <laughs> or I get stuck shielding in the corner. I'm like, please hit. When's it going to hit? And then I get grabbed. Yeah. So if it's one in three, it's easy to track. The one that starts by your eyes, 
after this, like, it rotates once, and then once it hits your eyes a second time. Ah, yeah. okay. But once it's over three, then your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Because it's so hard to keep track of that. Kripua barely uh, grabs the ledge there. And he gets back air. He's not losing his stock just yet. He's able to hold on to it. If you could find a reversal and get a kill despite having more percent on him, that would be huge. And that's exactly what he's going for with that side B, sharking with the up air. Yeah, pokes below the ledge, so you have to respect that. Really sweet spot up air is super strong. Yeah, finds a grab. Should be, okay, back throw just for the positioning. And he actually is going to take the first stock of this game five. That is huge, that forward tilt. Oh, but checkmate situation right there. So me alive, has to air dodge, the flare, recover low. Has time to set up for another, but yeah. This time, Pinkfresh knew exactly when he was going to neutral get up because he set the trap that was forcing it to neutral get up at a specific time. Yep, and there was, there was no way you were going to roll through that either. Nope. I mean, even if you rolled, you're still getting hit. Okay, so see at the eye, second time. Ah, okay. But to answer the question, I don't think Pinkuba knows. It looked like <laughs> yeah. he was shielding like five seconds earlier. Yep, there it is again, connecting. Up through an air. Oh, finds the up smash on the fall. And it puts you in a perfect position for a juggle. Free Poopa using that drift to his best ability, but it's still Sephiroth, man. That sword's still too big to avoid for too long. Yep. We've got a quick nair now. Once again, it feels like even in the stocks that Free Poopa takes ooh. first, he had more percent. So is he going to be able to survive? He finds a side B. That's a lot of damage and excellent positioning. Oh, gets no. a forward tilt. I don't think you Poopa meant to grab on the ledge there. No, I don't think so. But honestly, it might have saved him because he might have gotten caught by the Octo Slash otherwise. That is true. I think throwing out a lot of oh, these players. Oh, the this might... special. That it will be enough to do it. Yeah, the Space Pirate Rush finishing out the stock. And, oh, trying to go for a grab. Kripuba needs to not, like, that aggressive grab option, he's maybe trying to push the pace a little bit too much. In this case, he can try and slow it down. Well, not really anymore, because you lost your stock and everything is even. And we got ourselves a final stock situation. Final stock game five. It's still anyone's game. Yeah, these are the big moments. Can you play like you've been playing all set, or are you going to start to crumble? I feel like that's been a common theme Whoa! today. He just lets it rip with the F smash, and Pinkfresh jumps right into it. Kripuba takes the set game five. Who does that? Kripuba does that, <laughs> apparently. He's that guy. He's him. <laughs> He is him. He is him, and he is him does that. So, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff by Kripuba. He's going to be moving into top three. Uh, he's going to be blocking us from getting the most, like, classic possible Xanadu top three. Yeah. The old guard. I mean, Kripuba really etched his name to the top Xanadu players a while now. Absolutely, so. yeah. Always happy to see him. And plus, he keeps the bracket moving. Yeah. Win or lose, <laughs> like, that. Even if it's five games, games, they'll end quickly. He'll win quickly, he'll lose quickly. Yeah.